At these speeds, there is no margin for error. That's why the surface at the new National Corvette Museum Motorsports Park in Bowling Green, Kentucky is among the smoothest ever placed. Yeah, racing at speeds up to 180, 200 miles per hour, this thing better be smooth. The NCM Motorsports Park will serve many purposes. It is a test track for Corvettes, with a Corvette museum and a General Motors factory less than a mile away. It also will be used for various types of driver training. Car, truck, and motorcycle clubs can rent the track as well. Achieving the required smoothness was the challenge. Technology that included 3D paving helped every inch of the way, from the first pass of the scraper during site preparation to the last roll of the finished compactor. In this case, when we're doing the 3D paving, the contractor here, Scotty's Contracting, has come in and they've built models, 3D models, and we put those on the paving systems on the Trimble, particularly the Trimble system here, on the Caterpillar pavers. We've got a full uh, 2D sonic system on it. And so we have two operator's boxes that has that on it. And then we also have another operator's box that's to run our PCS 900 system, which is our robotics paving system. And then we have multiple robots set up and there'll be, in this case, there'll be, they're running here what they call echelon. So they run two pavers, uh, staggered session there to it. And they will have robots that are, multiple robots that are tracking both pavers. And then as they get out of range of one paver, or one robotic system, then it, the next robotic system picks them up. So you'll see out here as many as six robots set up at one time. The technology ensured steps were taken throughout the process to deliver tolerances within thousandths of a foot. The biggest advantage, I guess, for the 3D paving would be the accuracies we needed to achieve for the Corvette race tractor. And so uh, we're able to say, hold those in the thousands. The advanced technology delivered incredible smoothness results while also having a significant impact on cost. Technology cuts our labor force down. We don't spend near as much. When we save money, that enables us to bid cheaper and to win bids. And uh, it really, our company prospers with those things. Time pressures also were a part of the job. And once again, it was technology to the rescue. In this case, the technology enabled work to begin before all plans were finalized. The Corvette Museum wanted to start the project. They did not have it fully designed yet. The engineer was working extra hours, but they uh, just wasn't quite ready yet. So we did a somewhat of a phased construction design build. So with the changes, the way they came in, we were constantly updating the model and throwing these out to the machines. Uh, those kind of changes are not feasible to come out and stake and, and do that to conventional methods. Was the job a success? Corvette official Mitch Wright certainly thinks so. They can hold tolerances to an extremely tight level. And what that's going to allow us to do and what it's going to provide us is a hyper smooth racetrack. And, and I believe we're going to be the en envy of the industry with the surface that we're going to have.